as a study manager, upon logging into the system, I would arrive on this homepage. Across the top, I have my navigation bar, where I can quickly access various parts of the system. For example, the Accounts tab stores all of my business entities I work with. Here are my contacts across my accounts. The Clinical Studies tab stores all of the studies I have oversight on. Here are my sites, so on and so forth. Up here in the center is a global search where I can quickly look for something in the system, whether it's a document, task, or a specific study record. In the middle of my screen, as a study manager, I have the ability to view study metrics for a single study or for all of my studies at once. These dashboards on the homepage can be set up to reflect relevant data based on the role of the user. For example, if I was a monitor, I would see metrics related to monitoring. If I was a data manager, I could see metrics related to my specific role. Now, as a study manager, I can click into the Clinical Studies tab where I can see all of the studies that I am responsible for. If I'm running multiple studies, I can organize my studies by creating lists based on phase, country, status, and more. To create a new study, I simply click on this new button and enter in my study information. I also have the ability to view my studies in a Kanban view where I can see all of my studies across the various statuses in a visual manner. Let's view a study that's already created. The study page is where I can see my study name at the top, status, face, therapeutic area, and more. On the top right, I have some useful buttons for me as a user that may pertain to different areas of my trial. Beneath that, I can view the study status through a visual ribbon. If I scroll down on the page, I can view detailed information pertaining to the study, such as protocol information, study numbers, benefits and risks, enrollment information, outcome measures, inclusion and exclusion criteria, and more. If I scroll back up, I have various subtabs here that have information related to this cardiac arrest study. In the planning subtab, I can view planning related activities such as milestones and tasks. I can create standard task lists as templates and apply them at the study level to have all of the tasks automatically generated at the study level. I can also track and manage my study team members, regulatory documents, and more in my planning related subtab. If I scroll back up in the Visit Plan subtab, I can view my visit schedule for the study. The system walks me through four steps in creating the visit plan. The first step is where I name and version the visit plan, assign the status of it. The second step is where I add the visits in sequence and the windows. In the third step, I add procedures and or assessments from a master list that I can maintain in the system. The fourth step is where I may add any tasks that are not directly related to the procedure. And then in the last step, the system combines everything together into one clean visit schedule, which you would see in your study protocol. Going back to the study page, the financial subtab is where I can see my budgets, study level payments, and other financial information. I have the study budget already open where I can view my various line items I budget against. I can see here that there's a budget template linked to this budget. I can create a budget template as a base and then use that template when I'm creating a study budget. This saves me time for manual work of creating all of these line items one by one. Going back to the study page, I have various other sub tabs here. For example, in the startup sub tab, I can send out feasibility surveys and also track my study startup documents. In this sub tab, named AEs and PDs, I can track all of my adverse events and protocol deviations at the study level. The other subtabs can be leveraged to store more study information, templates, and more, allowing me to easily access data and information pertaining to this study all from one pane. Before we get to the sites, on the right side here, I'm able to send emails, create events or tasks, and even message someone in my team about a study-specific event. I can also store notes in any relevant files such as images, work instructions, or even the study protocol. To view clinical site information, I can click on the clinical site subtab where I can see all of my participating sites for this study. If I click into a site, 
I arrive at the site page where I can view information related to the site. The top of the site page includes a nice line graph that indicates enrollment projections year over year. And as I scroll down, I can see the name of the site, the site number, roles and related contact information at the site. I can also capture planned versus actual key dates and even run reporting on these to view where the site is at with important milestones. I'm also able to track enrollment information and essential document statuses as well as key risk indicators at the site level. If I scroll back up, I can view my site's financial information in the financial sub tab. If I click on the site budget, I can see that it's similarly laid out as the study budget. If you remember moments ago, I created the visit plan for the study. Well, here in the site budget, I can budget against each visit and procedure. I can modify the rates and occurrences and have the system calculate the budgeted subject cost for me. If I go back to the site page in the startup sub tab, I can track my site team members. And here at the top, with the click of a button, I can generate the site's delegation of authority log. If I go back a little beneath that, I can track my essential documents for the site. The list of essential documents get automatically created by just clicking this button where the system creates this list based on a template of essential documents. I can drill into one of the records, enter the metadata for the document, and even upload the file here in a kind of staging area. Then I can submit it for internal approval. And once it's all approved, I can then move it to the ETMF all from this pane. Then at any time during the study, I can go back to the site page, scroll up, click on this button, and the system automatically generates a PDF report indicating the status of all of my essential documents for the site. Going back to the site page, I can view all of my subjects in a tabular view and the related visits here. And the other sub tabs can be leveraged to store more site information as needed. All of the data I've been working with can be reported and viewed through visual and insightful dashboards. I can track my high level oversight metrics across all of my studies. I can also view metrics pertaining to startup activities for one or multiple studies. In addition, I can choose to set up a dashboard subscription where I can indicate how often I want the dashboard to be delivered to my inbox or my team's inbox.